Yo, 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 YouTubers, what is up? It is your boy, Men and XYZ, bringing you another Spiral Nights video. This time, I'm going to show you guys how I decided to make my, well, you know, how to get 5-star items on your Squire or any knight which is technically unable to equip these kind of items. So, first off, if you guys don't already know, you can get a fair bit of recipes from this guy over here. Sullivan and you can get these kind of recipes by cashing your Krogmo coin which you get from playing Lockdown and Blast Network. This is not going to be your main source however FSC is going to be a big part of building your knight so I highly do recommend grabbing the electron charge recipe and then making the electron vortex after you like upgrade it wherever the fuck it is like there it is right there that guy right there helpful helpful I personally don't use it um, on my alt, but if you guys, you know, need to, then it's there. And it just helps speed things up a lot. I personally just decided to just go straight out for damage with my kind of set. Like, I'm just running Chaos, and half, I'm running half Cat, and then I'm just going, like, straight out damage, you know? So, I'll show you guys how to grab these weapons, by the way, and I'm just going to cash in on some enamels, because those are good profit. But, like pretty much all you need to do is find the lobbies in terms of which kind of recipes you want so like if you want to make a storm driver for example you can easily make yourself a Voltec Alchemer either on your main or on your alt I have the Voltec Alchemer mark 2 recipe so I, I would have probably bought the Volt. oh yeah I did buy a Voltec Alchemer off from mini I gave I brought it over I was able to equip it I believe so, and from there I was simply rolling on it with the uh, UV tickets that I got from my Shining Forge prize box, and I was lucky enough to get CTRH and Fiend Low on it. From there, you can go ahead and find a Storm Driver recipe after you make the Volt Driver, and how you do that is you simply go on the wiki, you can look for recipes. Did I press enter? I think I did. Feels like I did. That's weird. Hashtag trippy. Okay then. You're lying. Am I non SK though? You guys wanna fuck up my video? Fuck you guys. Boy. My internet be tripping out and shit. That's some utter bullshit. What the fuck's going on? Tell me I can't even connect to my own internet. Are you serious? During a video? You guys are gonna fuck me over like- What do you mean you can't connect to this network? Is it, is it cause I'm black? My like, boy, I'll use the freaking 5 gigahertz connection, but I'm not having that shit. I know my connection was interrupted cause I just changed it, bro. Like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I'm, you know what, fuck it. Oh yeah, 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 you can actually find it through here as well. So like, let's say you want a storm driver. All you gotta do is you gotta find the storm driver gun on the wiki and what you can do is you can find out where you can grab the recipe so hall of heroes is going to be unavailable for you when you're a squire or technically for anything below 8 2 you're not going to be able to get this specific recipe um however if you look at this you have an occurrence outlet keep and a low in the dark and in these mission lobbies you have a chance to get these specific recipes which is nice because you also get a strike eel recipe as a reward if you finish it off so like that'll help you prepare for fsc um, but it's like, of course, you need to do all the rank missions to even get that to qualify for it, I believe. But besides that, like you, you're able to get the storm driver recipe from that lobby. Um, let's see, it just shows storm driver. Sadly, yeah, it just shows storm driver. But like, I'm sure there are also other recipes there. I just, I'm not certain which ones. But yeah, like you can simply get a friend to start at the mission lobby. The recipe is unbound for only 25k. You don't have to do anything but simply buy it, and you can use it, and you can learn the recipe on your squire, even though it's a five-star recipe. And from there, you can actually craft it using the Eternals that you find in FSC that you do to heat up your four-star weapons, and the elites that you get from doing rank 7-2 in Cold Blood, which of course you'll need to get an invite too. So really all you need is an invite to get to the party that you need to get your item. It's really, really easy. And it's actually quite efficient. So let's say you want to make a... Yeah, now I've been DC. I expected that. Okay, so let's say you want to make a... I don't know. A Glacius. All you need to do... I personally have the Glacius recipe learned already. But if you were to look it up, like... 
do 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 do. Then you can go ahead and see Echo the Striker has it. Joran also has it. But Basil. Basil's your boy. You can find him in the King of Ashes, Shadowplay, and Crimson Chaos rest um mission lobbies, which is really good because he actually carries the Glacius recipe there. So you don't need to go through Clockworks doing Basil runs. You don't need to pay 30k off the auction house for a Glacius recipe when other people can get it for 25k off Echo. Like no, you're pretty much on the same terms of level. Or you're paying the same amount. You're not treated like minority just because your rank is below Vanguard. You know, which is really nice. You can still grab it and have your five star weapons and you print that with chaos full chaos or half chaos and ctr man and you're running your ctr max glacius in fsc better or the same as a voltage so you're really at no disadvantage for using a squire for the other recipes however like the final flourish avenger and stuff you may have to look around in terms of um the recipes themselves you know and looking on the auction house avenger for sure you have to look on the auction house and basil but i mean at the end of the day like regular knights do recipe runs and look for it so it's not anything different and at the end of the day you're also pretty much doing everything on level terms you know it's not like you're really at a disadvantage just because you're a squire like many people think that oh you're a squire you gotta like do recipe runs all the time like no all you need is an invite to the lobby with the recipe and you're good um if you want to get a silent night blade or an atron you can find that i i clearly did underscore but okay so like this one you'd find in cold blood vicious and viscous um spark and roar and the vile engine so you can find that there. You can find Atron, like Operation Crimson Hammer, most likely, and then Terminal Meltdown. If you guys want to find a final flourish, I'm uncertain if it's in any recent mission lobbies. Um, I think I just grabbed. I got mine from time ago, actually. Like I don't even remember, but it should be. Oh, the Gauntlet Dreams and Nightmare is beautiful. So yeah, like you guys have options. You don't need to go to Echo. I mean, to Echo or use Hall of Heroes. All you need to do is get someone to invite you to the mission, look it up in advance, which recipe you need, and there you can buy it unbound, 25k standard Basil price. Um, you can even buy it on your main account if you don't even have money on it, and you can just simply mail them over. You don't even need to get people to invite you. I use Mini. I just simply go to the lobby on Mini. I buy the recipe. I mail it over. It's quite easy, and you're not restricted. All you gotta do is buy it at the two star. You know, or just make it from the two star. It's not difficult at all. <laughs> and you can find all the recipes. Like, rank 72 in cold blood is indeed nice. This one here gives you a lot of shining fire crystals and a lot of good items like warp dust. And they sell for a fair bit of money. And you also get some a lot of shinings during the level. This is just reward, but like, Lizard Lounge has a whole bunch of boxes. Killer Trail, Ice Cube Alley. They, Killer Trail and Lizard Lounge are really where you're going to be getting your boxes, though Ice Cube Alley isn't bad. Um, and you can get some Everfrost and shit, so it's not bad. Um, so yeah, guys, that's really how you go ahead and grab all those recipes on your alt. So, from the start, simply making them from 2-star, and then going ahead and inviting yourself to mission lobbies which have the recipe that you need, or going to that mission lobby on your main account which actually has them unlocked already, and then buying them there and milling them over. And from there, all you gotta do is simply farm for elite orbs and eternal orbs, and you can craft them for free. Literally for free. <laughs> it's really, really great. Unlike before, we had to spend 800 C. All you gotta do is find three orbs. Like, it's really simple. All you gotta do is do FSC a few times. You make your money while you're doing it, so it's like you never lose. All you really gotta do is find the Eternals and In Cold Blood, and I mean, you're gonna be farming Shinings a fair bit anyway, so you're gonna find a whole bunch of orbs like me. Like, right now, I have enough orbs to, like, almost make some shit. Like, I'll be able to demonstrate for you guys right now. Um, like, I can make the Glacius, technically. All I need is an Everfrost, another Eternal Orb, then I can upgrade my Blizz brand. Final Flourish I already made. I need a DA recipe. I had one, but I ended up selling it just because, like, I wasn't ready to make one at the time. I got the Storm Java recipe from I'll Like Keep Mission Lobby not too long ago and got the Vaughn Comfort Control recipe. Bought that off a guy. Oh, boom. Another one. Um. Yeah, like, let me just find the forums. You guys can also find recipes via the recipe buying thread. This is also really good if you simply want to post up your want to buy one to sell recipe list. So pretty much if you're looking to buy a particular recipe, this is your thread to do so. Please be sure that all listings on the following information. The recipe or recipes you're wanting to purchase, your knight's name, and what you'd pay for the recipes. Okay, so now if you were to go to the last post, you'd see people are actually actively using this to this day, even though it was posted back in like 2011, 2012 or something. Someone's paying 35k for a BTS recipe. Fuck. I sold my for 32. Rip. So yeah, like, I mean, as you guys can see, like, there's a whole bunch of people who just post up their stuff. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you see my, yeah, like, 
that was back in the day when I was looking for the Arcana recipe. Like, oh no, I was selling it. What do you mean? Like, I already had one back then. Like, I'm going back to like way back. I may even see the one where I'm looking for Sacred Falcon Sentinel Armor. Who knows? But yeah, like, I, I'm familiar with that. Like, it's really good if you guys want to just go ahead and just post them up there and be like, want to buy Storm Driver, like, not Storm Driver, like Divine Avenger recipe, all those rarer kind of recipes like Grand Faust and shit. If you don't want to go doing the basil runs, then you can just go ahead and post it up there. And if someone who's selling the recipes, go on there to find someone who wants to buy that specific one. They'll contact you, and boom, you can get the trade dealt with. Saves you the time and the effort of doing all those runs. Trust me, guys, there are a whole bunch of resources that you guys can use. You don't need to go through the entire mission system just to build your night up. I literally only have 335 prestige, and I'm here rocking a CTR High Storm Driver, freaking ASI Low Flourish, ASI Med Event. Like, bro, like you don't need to be you don't need to be decked out in terms of your rank. Rank means nothing besides being able to start your missions pretty much. I just like having Mini with the horse logo next to it just because it looks cool, but it's like, why am I gonna go through making my another night a Vanguard if I've already played the entire experience one time and I just wanna be able to play another account just to have fun with, you know? Like, I'm not trying to go through the entire game again, I'm just trying to like, you know, make some other items and make a new account where I can just have some fun on. Okay, so with that being said, I mean, I have an FSC invite as well, and I'm sure I have the right gear for FSC, so I can just go on ahead and show you guys how, you know, how easy it is to pretty much find some more Eternals, find more Shinings and Radiance in order for you to, you know, increase your Knight's standing. Like, yeah, I have, I have the right gear. I want to check in twice for you, like. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and clear this FSC. Oh, that did pick up. Whoa, this lag. I'm three bars old. These guys are EU. Oh my god, this is horrendous. They call this three bars. This feels like one. This legit feels like one bar, bro. <laughs> this is horrid. This is legit horrid. You fuckers, leave me in an EU party by myself, yo. If I go solo, does this make it US? Like... Bro, I don't even know. Oh, I can't even go solo because I'm in a freaking party. So you guys just left me alone in a freaking EU party, dog? Oh, I'm an idiot. What am I just running into nothing for, like? Bro, these people are lying. Yo, this feels horrid. Do I even want to bother with this, to be honest? Like... I only, I'm only doing this for the seals, like, I think I need the, yeah, I need them, fuck. Oh my god. These guys are so lucky, bro, like, I'm, I'm calling someone, yo, Kila, you're reaching. She'll come at death 27, at least. Alright. So I'm just going ahead clear this shit up. I'll just show you guys, it's not really hard to farm on an alt, just cause he's a squire doesn't mean he's like, weaker than a vanguard, like. <laughs> okay, this music, hell no. After you've been playing this game for a certain amount of time, like sometimes the music just gets to you. Depends on how long you've been hearing it, like I've been farming a fair bit of FSC recently on mini cause I'm like saving up like a whole bunch of money. Like, of course, while I'm merching and stuff, like, while I'm not merching or while I'm not making big flips, then I'm in FSC. Like, there's not really many moments when I'm not making money on either Ben or Mini. Okay. Feels super weird on freaking EU. Oh, I'm my storm driver out. <clears throat> I'm here like, why is it doing that attack? Alright. Yeah, and Blizzbrand level 10 hits hard too, guys. Like, don't worry. Like, I highly recommend you guys, once you make your 4 stars level 10, keep them at level 10 4 star instead of upgrading right away. Like, see how I have the option of upgrading my Glacius right now if I simply grab another Eternal? I wouldn't do that. Reason being is because I don't have enough Radiance. I only have like 33 Radiance on Ben. So it's like, I'm going to wait until I have at least 100 Radiance before I go ahead and start forging it up, just so I can at least get it to level 7. 
level 7, level 8 without, you know, compromising. Fuck, bro. I had to sack something. Okay. I'm alive, that's all that matters. I can do this place without taking any damage. It's just a matter of living to get there. Alright. Glacius OP. We're gonna have a whole bunch of visitors and aunts and uncles and family members just coming over to kill me. Talking about these slags over here, like everyone's just coming up like it's a family reunion and shit, like Like boy, like get out of my freaking space, son. Like, who does he think he was breathing on, bro? I really don't know. Like, you gotta help me figure that out. Who do you think he was gonna breathe on? Like, not, not my Jordans. You funny boy. This guy must be a class clown or something. Alright. I would say invest in a needle. That's also a good thing to do for your alts, depending on how much you plan on using it and what you plan using it for. I only plan really using mine for like kicking ass and lockdown and shit. Oh rip. Did I not just- Oh, my fault, I'm on EU. I keep on forgetting. I should have dashed earlier. But I'm here on freaking EU because this fucker put me on it, so I'm here thinking I'm doing perfect timing like I normally do. And nope, I'm freaking 200 milliseconds late. And when it comes to SK, 200 milliseconds means a shit ton. 200 milliseconds is the difference between CTR Ultra and CTR Max, meaning the difference between you being able to pull off a double charge on a Trojan and not being able to when paired with ASI high or higher. So, it is quite crucial. <laughs> bang. Bang, 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 bang. So I mean it's not it's not really hard to grab your shinings and your radiance and whatever the heck you need on this to be honest. Actually I'm just gonna use Blizzbrand. Okay. Wow, you didn't get frozen. Do I wanna just attack him regularly? Like I don't know. Let me get around already, like fuck. Like, jeez, I want to use my Blizzbrand and then charge him with the FF, but it's like, I don't have time for that shit. So, like, I'm just gonna go on ahead and just continue. But, like, you guys understand what to do from this, really. Like, all you gotta do is clear FSC, collect your shines, collect your Radiance, and then grab your recipes and just build your knight up. <clears throat> all you gotta do is find, like, other knights who are already doing the level and you can simply join them. Like, me, I would've had two other people running this with me. Two more Blitzes, or at least one more Blitz. You know, like, it wouldn't have been an issue, but now I gotta wait till I'm at that 27 so I can bring Kila along. So I have a Blitzer. But, I mean, that's whatever. Like, people don't care. They want the freaking token. They're not gonna wanna do all that 24, 25, 26 to get their three tokens. They can just do that 27 and get a token in a minute. I mean, hey. <laughs> they're gonna do it. Bang. So vortexes aren't even needed, as you guys can see. Everyone get frozen. And these things hit hard enough. Whoa. Talking about lag spikes. <laughs> Damn, son. Alright. Do, 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 do. All 
And that is that room right there. Can I make it? Well, it doesn't really matter if I can make it or not. Reason being is because there are health boxes. Finally get a damn Vitapod. Thank you. Jeez. <coughs> Alright. Bandit Boy logged on. Do 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 do. Rip. So just go on ahead, clear FSC. You guys understand the drill. From there, you can just go ahead, grab your recipes, and just heat everything up, craft them on up. You guys can't buy them outright. You can't buy a Chaos Cloak and equip it. I don't think so, at least. But you can buy the Magic Cloak, and then you can equip it, or you can make the Elemental Cloak, and you can equip it, and you're perfectly fine. See what I mean? It's like, I don't have any other clearances. If I were to press M and go to Arcade, like, I don't have shit. I don't have tier 2 clearance. I don't even have tier 2 clearance. I don't even have tier 3, but not even tier 2, guys. Like, that's what I'm telling you. If I simply just join a party and go to tier 3 and I show them I have the loadout, then hey, I get the clearance. But I don't need the clearance. I want to show you guys it's possible to do this without the clearance. So, yeah. You guys seen it for yourself. You guys know exactly where to grab the... Whatchamacallit, all the recipes now because I showed you guys on the wiki exactly which missions to do and you can look it up yourself to find the exact one that you need. So... Y'all are good. Y'all are y'all are amazing. Y'all are perfectly set. <laughs> Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me know how you you guys go. How it goes for you guys in terms of building up your alt now that you know all these techniques and tips to help you get it quicker. This guy's like a hey, mini <laughs> this guy knows it's me. Alright. But yeah guys, like it's actually quite simple and it's a fun thing to do. Like it's just building up another night. Can I yeah, I can get that, but no moon nay. Why you no Louv May? That's harsh, like that's super harsh. Who's online right now anyways? Oh wow, this guy's at death twenty two, but I'm not looking for any recipes, so I don't even need to ask him anything. This guy wants to borrow money, rip. I'm broke, bro. I only have 166k on Ben and like a mil on Mini. Like the fuck? I'm just me to be able to lend with that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, yeah. Peace out, guys.